I am. I'm really liking it. Besides, besides the effing frame rate issues that are pissing me off, because that last boss that I fought, that Pontiff, the only reason that, that it took so long to beat him was because the frame rate was for, for complete balls in the second form of the fight. So stupid. Yes, let's slow the game down to incredibly slow mo, which delays your fucking input, and you can't react to anything he does, but he can insta kill you. Well, gee, what a great boss fight. And, you know, I've actually heard that on PC, this game runs at a pretty much a silky smooth 60 frames per second. Um, which pisses me off, of course, because why, once again, why can't we have equal versions of the fucking game on every con on every version? It just doesn't make sense to me. It just, I'm just, seriously. I'm just so pissed off because we're in 2016, right? And if you bought Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, or the PC, you bought the same game. It's the same price. It's not like, oh, the PC version was 60 bucks, uh, the PS4 version was 55, and the Xbox One was 50. No, you paid $60 and or whatever the equivalent is in your country uh, when you bought the game. So why did we all get different fucking versions of the game? In 20 fucking 16. You know, 20 effing 16. And it, it just frustrates me. It's not fair. It's not fair to the consumer. It's not. Everyone should have the same version. And you know what? It's this simple, right? It's this simple. If you can't make the version equal on all fucking platforms, then don't make it for all platforms, you know? Bloodborne? Anyone could talk shit about Bloodborne as much as they want, for whatever reason. The bottom line is Bloodborne was PS4 exclusive, and when you played that game, you got the same experience as everyone else because it was only on PS4, right? But Dark Souls 3, we need to cash the fuck in, right? We gotta get it on every console. So some people have a better version, some people have a worse version. It's fucking stupid. It's really stupid. I, I think they should all be equal. Every version should be equal. Now, some people would argue, well, that's not fair because the PC version, obviously, is running at 60 frames per second, right? Uh, well, they shouldn't nerf the PC version because that wouldn't be fair to PC owners. I agree. I actually agree. I don't want, I don't, I'm certainly not saying that they should downgrade the game. I'm saying make the fucking game work on everything. Don't be lazy. And that's what it is. It's lazy game development. We made one version of the game that runs at 60 frames per second, but we can't get it to work on everything. Well, then you failed as a game developer. That was your job. That was your one job. To make an equivalent version of the game on all, uh, all platforms. So if you could get it to work at 60 frames per second on one platform, it should work on all. <laughs> None of this namby-pambly bullshit. Excuses and- Oh! Oh, uh, it's an underpowered console. So then don't fucking release it for that console. Tell Microsoft, your console's underpowered, fuck you. We're not putting it on that console, right? Seriously. That should be the situation. And then maybe Microsoft won't put out underpowered consoles. My video is going to be very different from all of the videos that other YouTubers have made about this Toby Turner situation going on on the internet right now. Okay? R Ratchet and Clank, you know, I, 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 just as I expected, not many people are watching it, by the way. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Very quick plugs today. because I just don't feel like doing them too long. I do them every day and they get pretty tired. Please... If you enjoy my videos and streams, spread the word about them. Please follow me on social media, at they call me DSP on Twitter. And uh, feel free to retweet and like the tweets on there that you like, because social media reach is very important to the success of a business. Please check out my Amazon associate link in the description of my videos and on and my live streams. And uh, if you live in the United States, please use that link when you shop on Amazon. Please check out patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, where your pledges help to allow me to continue to do this full time.